Hello everyone! Welcome back to the weekly vlogs. I am not gonna lie, I feel a little like out of it because I haven't vlogged. I think it's been like two weeks now um, since Vlogmas ended, but if you guys want to see those vlogs, they're obviously still up there, so go check out Vlogmas where I vlogged every single day of December up until the 23rd. Um, that was really fun, just doing like holiday themed videos and recipes and stuff like that for the holidays. So go check that out because that is still all up in my vlogs playlist. But now I'm back to my weekly vlog schedule where I will vlog throughout the week. I try to upload the weekly vlogs every Monday, Pacific time around like 5 p.m. Um, so yeah, today is actually Wednesday. Um, I'm shooting some stuff for my Instagram and um, some TikToks, like some packing lunch little TikTok videos. Right now I'm currently shooting this like satin sleepwear set from Amazon that I absolutely live in while I'm at home, like my nighttime routine and all that stuff. Oh, also I just saw it in the little um, frame. I got the aura ring for Christmas. So yay, I've been using this since um, Christmas morning. It's been really cool. It obviously is a lot easier than taking my temperature with that natural cycles thermometer. It just, I just have to go in the app and like sync it at least some point in the day and it'll um, sync my temperature. Um, it also like at the very beginning I talked about or I submitted what I wanted it to track. So for me, it's more like like my sleep schedule and like my stress levels and all that stuff. Um, so it's pretty cool. Like it tells me like when I should go to bed, um, how many miles I should walk if I want to like just be active. I'm not trying to like lose weight or anything, but just to like stay active and healthy. Um, and like how ready I am. Like I remember like there was one Saturday where I was cleaning the house a lot. And I remember the night before... I, and even like the next day it said like you might want to take take a chill day because your body is kind of like feeling it and this is before i got up and as i was walking around and like getting ready for the day the next day i noticed how sore i was i was like oh that's kind of cool that it was like telling me how my body was doing even before i could physically feel it so i'm gonna try to follow the recommendations on like how much i should be like walking around and moving because i will say I don't really like I'm not that active and I feel like that's missing in my like health regimen life right now um, but it's kind of difficult because it's a little bit like rainy but if anything maybe that's good because when it's really hot I feel like that sucks like walking around everywhere whereas around like the cool weather I feel like it feels really nice to like get a little hot and it's fine because it's like offset by the weather but I'm babbling um, as always, I'll have everything, like, the sleepwear set that I'm wearing right now, even, like, the bedding in the background and, like, our bed frame, the aura ring. I'll link everything that I wear and that you see in the vlogs down in the description box, so make sure to check that out because if you guys want any stuff, then you guys can shop there. Speaking of bedding, we have the Brooklinen, um, the linen set in the California King because our bed is huge. <laughs> Um, but I absolutely love it. it. I just love like the linen feel. It just feels so comfortable. I like how like wrinkly it is almost because it feels very like lived in. Now I'm gonna change and shoot one more outfit. It's like what I wear. Um, it's like a work from home outfit that I'm shooting. So I'm gonna shoot that. Also, before I forget, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you guys can be notified of when I post a new video. But I would love it if you guys would subscribe and join the little community over here. And please like any of like the vlogs or any of the shorts that I post if you guys like them so that way I know that you guys are liking that kind of content and I'll make more. I post a lot of like for shorts um, style videos and recipe inspo and the details like recipes are always listed out in the description box if it's a like a fashion reel then i'll always have the outfits linked in the description box so go check that out but yeah subscribe hit that little i don't know really i'm not sure where it is and as always in the description box i also have like my tiktok instagram blog all the, <laughs> all the things um, linked there so you guys can go check that out and follow me if you guys want to see some more real-time updates on stories and stuff but yeah I keep saying I'm going to stop babbling and I keep coming back and babbling so I'm actually going to stop babbling 
and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm about to shoot some photos um, in this setup. So yeah, hopefully they turn out okay. Oh, also what I'm wearing, I have this Amazon dress on with just like a cardigan over it. And then um, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but these cushion slides that I always wear in the house. I love this dress. It's so easy to throw on. It's really neutral. So I feel like it takes me into like multiple seasons. I wore this in summer. Um, during like our trip to Cabo, I wore it as like a cover up, like a swimsuit cover up. And then I wear it like in fall with boots or flats, like pointed toe leather flats. Um, obviously right now it's winter, so I wear it at home all the time. And then it'll be a really pretty like spring dress as well. So I'll have this linked down in the, in the description box below. I also have it linked in my Amazon storefront under dresses. So make sure to check that out as well. Um, the link to that is also in the description box. So yeah, hopefully these photos turn out okay. Hi everyone. Welcome, or I guess not welcome back. It is now a day I don't even know anymore, but I think I only vlogged one day earlier this week. Today is Saturday, January 7th, um, and today is the day of the Jonas Brothers concert. I just figured that there wasn't really much going on throughout the week. It was a pretty chill week, just the same work and packing lunch and hanging out with the cats. Um, so I just kind of opted, let me just like save the majority of the footage for today. So I'm super excited. We're going to the Bank of California Stadium. Um, I think it's like near LA or in LA or something and we're gonna go see the Jonas Brothers They have a couple openers who I haven't really heard of but maybe we'll discover some new faves today But I'm so excited. We have floor tickets. So we're actually getting there a little early or a lot early The show officially starts at I think they said it starts at 6 or 7 but like parking and everything for like the gates open at three so we're actually gonna get there at three because we have those floor seats and we're gonna try to like get to the front or as much to the front as we can so we are all meeting up at Bree's parents house um so that we can all go together um but we will see how it goes i will take you guys along with me and yeah i'm getting so excited so many years ago mean more today to us and to it seems to you than they did when they first came out Sunday, the last day of this week's vlog. 
I am looking a little beat up right now and a new friend has joined us, so hello there. I feel like I'm just gonna really like take it easy because I just don't have anything in me right now. Oh, sorry, excuse that noise in the background. The cats are playing with their little toy. But it was so funny, like my aura ring tells me to go to bed at around like 9 p.m. And I got the little notification on my phone being like, it's time for you to get ready for bed. And I'm like, girl, like the Jonas Brothers have not even gone on stage yet. So like give it a minute. But yeah, it was so fun. Um, there was a couple openers like that M, I don't know how to say her last name. And then Duckworth, which I've, I didn't hear about or I didn't think I knew them, but then there that m girl she sings this one song i'll link it if i can down in the description box um but i recognize her song either from like tiktok or like somewhere like that was the last song she sang we're like oh she's that girl so she was cute then duckworth a lot of his songs i was like ooh, i like this like there's this one called bonsoir and I probably would have inserted the clip, but like, God, our backs were hurting so much that like there was a point where me and Pri were just like bent down, like waiting for the Jonas Brothers to come down. We're just like, yeah, we feel old. We're like dying. I say like I'm not the biggest Jonas Brothers fan, but like every song that they played was like, it was, I knew all of them. And a lot of them were from when we were younger, like Camp Rock and... Like, when you look me in the eyes, like, we were obviously listening to them on the way to LA, and every song that they played, we heard it in the car, so I was like, that's funny. But yeah, it was just really fun, just to, like, relive those nostalgic times. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. We did not make it to our dinner reservation at Yamashiro, so we just got Taco Bell on the way home. Um, but Brie and I are going to a summit next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. So you guys will see it, I think, in two vlogs. And I think it's in LA. So maybe we'll go to Yamashiro then because I kept our original reservation was for nine. And then I kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And their last reservation was 11. And we, the concert ended at like 1045. So I was like, okay, yeah, no, we're not going to make it. So maybe we will go in a couple weeks. But yeah, I'm just going to chill now and play with the cats. Just wanted to close out the vlog and hope you guys are having a great new year. Um, I've been seeing everyone on like Instagram and TikTok how like, seems like New Year's resolutions are quite controversial. A lot of people are like, I hate New Year's resolutions. And I think that's like the majority of what I'm seeing. And then other people are like, no, they're fine. I'm kind of like in the middle. I feel like small achievable goals maybe like monthly goals are probably easier to achieve. So yeah, I get the sentiment of like not really being into New Year's resolutions, but I feel like you could still have a New Year's resolution and break it up into months and you'll still you still would have achieved that goal. So, um yeah, I'm still I haven't I guess I'm giving myself the month of January <laughs> to really like think it through and see like what I want for this year. There are like a lot of things happening this year for us, hopefully if things go well. And obviously I'll keep you guys updated once those things are set in stone. I just don't wanna like jinx anything. So I'm, I hate being like elusive, but I also just like, just wanna wait before things are finalized before I like officially say anything. But yeah, this year is gonna be really exciting. I think embracing change is probably like one of the mantras that I'm gonna tell myself that these are exciting things, it's good. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this year. I hope that 2023 is treating you guys well so far. What do you guys think of New Year's resolutions? Do you guys have any? Comment down below if you guys have any or if you guys are against them, like why? I'm kind of curious what your guys' thoughts are, but thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. But other than that, ooh, that's one of the girls wanting me to play with them. So I'm gonna go spend some time with them and just enjoy the weekend before we have to go to work tomorrow. So. Um, I hope you guys, again, are having a great start to your 2023, and I'm really grateful that you guys are here. I will see you guys later. Bye!